a quarter pound weight placed upon the lower end of a spring. The weight comes to rest in its equilibrium position is 13.6 inches. So that means uh, that means uh, you so six inches that means x is six inches. Right? Yeah, right. So you're supposed to put it in feet, yeah. So six inches, so that's times one over two. Yeah, to change it to feet because there's twelve inches in front. So that's a half. And uh, uh, you have the weight, so you can immediately find K, right? So according to her, F equals KX. So K will be um, 4 over half. So that's, yeah, you got 8 pounds per foot. Nice. And now it says at T equals 0. into motion with an initial velocity downwards of two feet per second. Find the displacement of the weight as a function of time. So that means right, so that means he's giving you the initial velocity. Right? Um so V of zero is two feet per second. Okay. And uh, um, okay, so we don't have any resistance or any force. Uh, any external force. Correct? So, now if your spring is like this, and this is your weight hanging, um, so at T equals zero, also, your x was zero because it wasn't moving. So now we can say uh, the force of the spring has to equal kx. Uh, sorry, has to right, and then uh, also the force has to equal m x g squared x over g t. So that means, and f which is minus k x because it's in the opposite direction of this place because you know it's pushing the spring upwards. the force in the spring. Okay. That's the equal uh, m d squared x over g d squared. So now you can uh, form your differential equation that m Uh, 
uh, I mean from the weight to weight over gravity. So it's 4 over what is it? 32.2. Okay, let's just do 32. So one eight. So one eight x double prime plus uh, k is eight equals zero eight x. Right? It's just mean x. 64 x equals 0. So this is the differential equation. Isn't it? So this is a second order linear homogeneous with the constant coefficients differential equation. So we can solve it by doing the characteristic equation that we were doing in the previous section. So the characteristic equation here is r squared plus 64 equals 0, which means r to be plus or minus 8r. So that means we have complex conjugates, so the solution for this will be sines and cosines. So this will be A cosine 8 T plus B sine 8 T. And now we can invoke the initial conditions to solve for this because we have two variables. So we know that x of 0 equals 0. Yeah? If x is 0 equals 0, that just means... Uh, the question said, at t equals 0, this, the weight is set into motion. Um, oh yeah, so we could measure it from that equilibrium position, which is fine. Uh, but technically, uh, at t equals zero, we are taking um, uh, uh, you see, it, okay, you have to be careful here. It's fine as long as you're consistent. Now, if if you are taking um, the initial position to be uh, where the where the spring was before the weight, uh, or where the weight was when it stretched the six inches. Either way, it's fine as long as you're clear where the equilibrium position is. So in mine, I'm just claiming that where so where the weight was is x equals zero. And so from here, I could say this is a plus zero, which makes a zero. So my cosine term goes away, and my x is just b sine 8t, which makes my x prime, because I need to use the velocity now, is 8b cosine 8t. The derivative of sine 8t is cosine 8t, and uh, the derivative, uh, and then you do the chain rule um, on the 8t. So that's 8. So you put another 8 on the outside. Yeah?
find the zero. Uh, yeah, look. Uh, we know I, I, I did x of 0 equals 0. So uh, if you plug in 0, you get a equals 0 because cosine 0 is 1, right? So that boils my equation down to x of t equals b sine t, right? Yeah. And now I found the derivative of this, which is 8b cosine 8t. And I know that my initial velocity is 2 feet per second downwards. So I know that... Uh, make this thicker. I know that my x prime of zero, what was it? Two? Yeah. Yeah, two downwards. So that makes two equals 8b. Cosine zero is one, which makes b equals two over eight or one fourth. Plug this back into the equation you get x of t equals uh, oh right eight yeah um, b is one fourth sine eight t so this is the equation of motion of the mass the amplitude the amplitude is one fourth which is the number that's here which is the number that's here, right? Uh, and then, the, so the period will be 2 pi over 8, which is pi over 4 seconds, right? And then the frequency is just 1 over t, which is, you just flip the period, you get 4 over pi oscillations per second. So these are the parameters for the uh, equation of motion. Amplitude of 4, period of pi over 4, seconds and the frequency is 4 over pi oscillations per second. Any questions on that one? Mm -hmm.